All right, the spring has sprung. And if the sprung has sprung, spring sprung, it's gotta be time for Spring Carlisle. This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com going on a little swamp meet safari. First one of the uh, season in the outdoors. Of course, we had the indoor ones. Check the NortheastWheelsEvents.com for all of that because you'll see some cool stuff there. But there is nothing, folks, nothing like springtime Carlisle. Remember last year when we had the snow? It was crazy, crazy. 125 for that scroll saw. Now, did you ever think that you'd be seeing these cans as collectible, all tin? Absolutely amazing. And the stuff you find here is so cool. Now, this is Wednesday uh, afternoon. I had doctor's appointments, not for me, for my partner. Uh, I'm still a horse. And I'll be walking all day long. It works. 100 bucks a make offer. Cool. Build your own press. Car magazines. 50 cents each unless marked. Motor trend. Hot rod. Uh, it's funny is that hot riders just don't, they don't sell very much. Let's see what other cool junk he's got over here. He's got some really funky stuff. Always love spotlights. You know that. And everyone needs spotlights. Let's see how much they are. Oh, 250 the pair. That is good. That is good. A track takes three bucks each. Tammy Wynette, Bobby Win uh, Vinton's greatest hits, Petulia car portrait of Petulia. Oh my gosh, Ray Conniff, Oy vey. Uh, Roy Clark, Bid Billy Crash, Craddock, rub it in. Floyd Kramer in concert. Unbelievable. Oh yeah, nice. Oh, that is nice. The Ford air conditioning unit, 275. Very good, very good. I tell you, for all of you Florida folks, that really works out well, definitely. For new stuff, oil-free, complete air uh, pump, hose mass regulator, whole bit, 50 bucks. And you can't go wrong with this stuff, I'm telling you. This is the way to shop. You know, even if you have to uh, make a specific trip up here to Carlisle, it is worth it. It truly is. And the stuff you will find, yeah, as I said, the stuff you will find is absolutely insane. You decide the price. You want some cassette tapes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. BMW oil filters. Jeez, but they're pure later. I would not put that on that BMW. Sorry, folks. I'm a snob when it comes to my oil filters. I really... Oh, look at this thing. Oh, that is too cool. With the transmission. Look at that cola. Jeez. 14 horsepower Wisconsin. I'm sorry. With three-speed trans and clutch. With reverse. Let's see what they're asking on it. No price. That would be cool. That would be cool. Repower your Jeep, folks. Hey, you see my friends over there with the uh, repower Jeep? Need some floor pans for a 62 through 67 Nova automatic, $500. That's the thing with today's muscle cars, you can get just about anything you want. I'm gonna have the um, rust taken out of the fleet uh, tomorrow, but there's no rocker panels available for that girl. Uh, that's for uh, 07 to 13 GMC uh, or Chevy regular cab, 40 bucks. I mean, you can't repair it for uh, for that kind of money. I put that much into welding gear. This is great. And we all want to keep our trucks on the road, I know. And look at it, the tow boards. Jeez. Just show you something over there. 250 for that 68 Camaro uh, without air conditioner. That's pretty cool. That's with AC. Uh, 250. 68 through 72 Chevelle without AC. 300 bucks. I, uh, great stuff. Great stuff. Door seals for a uh, 69 through 72 Jimmy or a Blazer. 50 bucks. Look at this. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Let's keep going, shall we? This is fun. 
10 bucks for that grinder. All right, it's cheap, but hey, 10 bucks, 10 bucks on the uh, Camaro taillight limbs is not that cheap. 20 bucks on the idler arm. Uh, and what does that fit? 63 through 82 idler arm. I love it. <laughs> oh yeah, fits anything. 67 through 69 Camaro with AC. Cheapo, cheapo wrenches. I like the oil can for 10 bucks. That's really cool. Tons of oil. Hi, Zinc. <laughs> That's nice, the AC Delco filters, I like that stuff. Always tons of paper. Oh, look at that, Volvo 18ES. Too cool. Of course, the same as the E. Neat. Oh, that is great. That is great. Opal Manta. Love it. Just love it. Check out these rims, folks. Have you ever seen anything like this? This is the front. Let's see what the rear. Look at that, isn't that neat? The dual bolt for the Fords and the Chevy. Look at the way how the web is put together. And this is what, all aluminum? Yes. That is fantastic, an aluminum web. You have any idea when these were made? Yeah, early 60s, early to mid 60s. Mm -hmm. uh, CT out of Hayward, California, wow. cast them and uh, you could get them in different widths. Uh huh. And 14 and 15 inch. That is amazing. And you got the center cap and everything on this. Jeez. Now this, of course, just pops right off the yes. center cap. Yeah. Oh, that is amazing. Just amazing. And we're reading that that's the iodized uh, aluminum. Yep. That is so cool. These are what, 15s? 14s. These are 14s. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I haven't seen any of these. I've been looking for these for 40 years. Oh my god. And gosh. finally finally found the pair right here at good old Spring Carlisle. All right. And that's again the CT C uh, Thompsons. Yeah, right? CT. I believe uh, it was like his name was like Carl Thompson or you know uh -huh. something in that and that's where the CT came from. Oh, that's great. That is brilliant. This is why I love all this unusual stuff. Unbelievable. And you're a speed freak from way back. Oh, yeah, and unfortunately. This, I'm old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is the first time you've seen them. Yes. Wow. In person. I knew about them, but I never saw any. And then you got to buy them. Yeah, and I bought them from, actually, from a friend who owned them for 45 years, and he gave up on looking for two more. Two more. And I told him, well, you're crazy. I said, put two, put these on the front, chrome reverse on the back with the old slicks. They're ready yeah, to go. Yeah, there you go. And he said, why didn't I think of that? Too late, I bought them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is cool. Thanks for showing us. Nice. Welcome to Carlisle, folks. That is gorgeous. I'll take the cover off then. This is beautiful. Oh my God, Rutherford. Outrageous. And it's, uh, we think it's Model T. We're not sure, but it's an overhead cam conversion. conversion. Oh my God, the cam's actually in deep, well, those yeah. lobes, that's, that's worn down. That one's off, but that's nice. Jeez, you can have these rebuilt now. Oh. I like this with the four batteries. Not a problem. Wow. So now we have to go up and uh, the man thinks he has the, the uh, water jacket and the front uh, mm -hmm. timing cover, the chain cover. That's for the tack, I presume? Well, could be. Could be. Yeah, I, gotta t I just found this thing yesterday. I got to study this a little bit. This is great. Yeah. Rutherford. Wow. Let's flip this girl over. Let's see the uh, top of the uh, chambers. So pure flat. Look at that. Jeez. Now that is wild. I wonder what happened well, with that. Probably blew something apart, and that's probably why it was taken off. I'm sure it was raced hard. Oh, that's what you bought these things for. They were not cheap. Definitely not. Look at the remnants of yeah. the head gasket and the uh, chemicals Maybe, which they if, used. If wow. I never find the rest of it, I don't care. It's a good conversation piece. Oh, that's for sure. That is for sure. That's got to be for the spark plug hole. Yep. 
Oh my gosh, that is wild. Just wild. Yeah. And it's interesting is that you still have your intake exhaust right here flowing over to your combustion chamber. You yeah, still now have I'm that. figuring, looking at this, this is probably for water passage. Yes. Uh, the plugs probably, well, I would have to see the whole thing. Oh, that, together. wait a minute. Yeah, flip it over. Let's see again. No. 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 Well, that's definitely not spark plug. No. Interesting. Uh, we'll figure it out. Yeah, that is cool. Finding it was half the fun. The other half is figuring it out. That is great. That is great. Again, Carlisle came through. Oh, uh, you always find the good stuff. And the thing is, you come either really early or late. The uh, drive. Uh, yeah. Want to pick that up for a second? Thanks. Interesting. Okay, so that would be a, just a regular belt drive, not even so much a gear. Yeah, well, and and they, he said he might have the cover and uh, the water the water jacket. Yeah. Wow. We'll that is out. cool. Now, when, yeah, okay, so that just bolt down there. Interesting. Well, if it bolts here, maybe this is where the spark plugs are. Well, work. there's a possibility. That would, yeah, I'd have to see, you know, we don't know for sure. He couldn't remember. He said it was either Model T or Model A. Yeah. I'll, I'll find out it was Studebaker. You know, who yeah, cares? right. Yeah. Who cares? Chevy, you know. Yeah. Sure. Why not? Hey, thanks for showing us. Really appreciate that. Again, Rutherford overhead valve conversion for a flatty. Only at Carlisle, folks. Just passing by. Always see good old friends at Carlisle.